Red Velvet. My guest right now is enjoying his birthday cupcake that I get for him, even though his birthday's in January. We have this little thing that um, I asked him one time what kind of cake he wants for his birthday. He said Red Velvet. Yep. Who takes care of you like me? Yeah, yeah. See? That's what I'm saying. I'm the only one that does it. If you don't know who this is right now, you're listening to, let them know who's in the studio uh, with me. Uh, J. Cole, Cole World. Cole World. We're here. We're here, man. Six days out. Can you believe it? No, I can't. Yeah. And you also had the I don't believe you look on your face in the studio kind of like disbelief when I told you I have not touched any of the download leaks. Yeah, I, I was surprised, but that's cool. I appreciate that. Well, I'm just like, man, okay. I went back and I listened to our first interview that we ever did. And we talked about the fact that you wanted to get Jay-Z on the album and how like big of a dream it would be. Oh, that would be great. I would love to hear that. By I way. have it in my purse. I'm going to give you a copy. All right, thank you. All right, so. You know where I was at when I did that interview? No. Why don't you tell him? With your okay. well, my Is that mouth, good? Foot, you know, I was slamming. <laughs> I was, I, I'll never forget because you was on, obviously, just like West Coast time. Mm-hmm. I was in my crib. I was in my original crib, like, you know, before I moved out and got like a nice, nice spot. Nice spot. I was still on like my same, I was in my room, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I still remember exactly where I was, like, doing the interview, feeling like, you know, like, yo, I'm really doing interviews right now. This is crazy. Yeah, it was cool. I was just excited to um, be able to get a hold of you because as soon as I heard, if you don't have um, any of his mixtapes, um, I feel sorry for you, but I got to hear it live whenever it happened and we'll mm-hmm. bring it back. Let's take it back to the beginning. Um, DJ Green Lantern Show, shout out to Green Lantern, had you up there. Yeah. And the track actually on your mixtape is called The Water Break Interlude. Yeah. Because I listen to that every once in a while whenever I lose my motivation and I'm just like, you know what? Let me go back to this interlude where it kind of like started for me. That's dope. So I go back and I listen to that. That's whenever I first heard you. And it's just kind of like, I've seen your career go from, as a lot of other people have, go from that first interview. And I remember last year you told me you had a broke bed or something like that. Oh, yeah. My, my bed was broken. And now you're selling out <laughs> you're selling out venues. Yeah. And you have everybody, like, blocking your sites and stuff when you drop tracks. Yeah. Like, how does it, like, I don't even know what to say right now, except I'm extremely proud of you. Like Thank this, you, very you, much. you didn't break anything that you said you were going to do in the first interview. You stuck to your guns. Yeah. You didn't sell out this new track that you got with Trey. I liked it. Ooh. Thank you, Trey, for not yodeling on the track, because then I probably <laughs> wouldn't have liked it. So, um, yeah. video is hot, too, man. Yeah, Beautiful videos. ladies in there. Video I know the guys crazy. were like, Just, can you make another video, man? <laughs> yeah, that video was crazy. Yo, um, so I got to ask you, like, honestly, and I know you could tell me, like, do you, how do you feel right now? Like, how do you, how is it, how is it coming down to, like, it's coming down to the wire? How do you I feel? I feel good. I'm excited. Um, I'm relieved that the album is finally coming out. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. it's actually pressed up. It'll be in stores. It's been such a long process. Um, I'm excited, though, man. I'm hyped. I know it didn't sound like you right there, but I'm yeah. definitely Yeah, are you getting the itis ready from the cupcake? No, I'm not. This is actually <laughs> my first meal right now, so that's pretty bad. <laughs> so you're just excited for the album? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Let's talk about... Grateful. Li- grateful is the word. I'm grateful to even have an album coming out in the stores. You right. know what I'm saying? Let's talk about a little bit of off the tour life. Like, what do you do in your downtime at this point? Like, do you get to watch any TV on the bus? you get to chill? Yeah, I might watch a little TV on the bus, like... Not that I, I look for anything, but like I'll be in the back room and there's TV on. Mm. I just watch whatever's on. Right. So if it's on BET, then I'm watching that. Mm. If it's on like Discovery Channel, I just watch. It's not a. I don't do it a lot, but like I, I'll catch TV now because we got direct TV on the on the bus. There's a lot of just sitting around waiting. Like I wake up in the morning, I do radio, mm. I do listening sessions, 
I go back to the bus. I wait to the show. I do the show. I come back to the bus. Tour life. I sit around. Yeah, it's, it's pretty boring, actually. It's boring? Nah, the the downtime. Uh, the downtime. Oh, okay, I was like, wait, what? Nah, wait a minute. The shows is the shows is hype. Um, I love interacting with fans and mm -hmm. doing radio, but the actual sitting around, waiting for the show, or waiting mm -hmm. for the bus to move, is, is yeah, it's pretty boring.